Shark finning. What is shark finning, you may ask? It's when you catch a shark, cut off all its fins, and throw the shark body back into the water for it to suffer and die. By the way, these images may be graphic to some viewers. Why is there such a demand for shark fins? Food. Shark population have decreased by 60 to 90% in just the last 15 years because of the evil shark fin trade. Experts estimate that many species will disappear because of long lining within 10 years. Oh, sorry. By the way, long lining is a fishing technique that allows many sharks to be caught at once. Did you know an estimated 100 million sharks are killed for their fins every year? The shark fin trade is a multi-billion dollar industry, which makes it a steep uphill battle. And can you believe that one pound of dried shark fin can sell up to $300 or more? Sharks themselves don't even mature until seven to 20 years old, making it nearly impossible for them to bounce back as quickly as they are removed from our oceans, leaving our entire ecosystem at great risk. If we don't stop shark finning now, they can and will go extinct. And according to SeaShepherd.org, one study in the U.S. indicates that the elimination of sharks resulted in the destruction of the shellfish industry in waters off the mid-Atlantic oceans of the United due to the unchecked population growth of the cow nose race, whose mainstay is scallops. Other study in Belize have shown reef systems falling into extreme decline when sharks have been overfished, destroying an entire ecosystem. The downstream effects are frightening. The spike in grouper populations, thanks to the elimination of sharks, resulted in decimation of the parrotfish population, who could no longer perform their important role keeping the coral algae free, therefore reducing the oxygen quantities in our atmosphere. The knock-on effects of this could be devastating for all life on Earth. In conclusion, now that we know what shark finning is, what can we do as a human race to stop this madness once and for all? Well, first of all, don't eat shark fin soup. Talk to your friends about shark fin soup, and remember, friends don't let friends eat shark fin soup. Second of all, there are many organizations out there trying to stop this madness from happening, such as seashepherd.org. Sharks should always swim in water, just not boiling water with celery, carrots, and noodles. Since sharks don't have a voice, let's be theirs. If you'd like more information on my topic, here are some of the sources I had found. Thank you for your time.